Do you experience shakes, sweating, nausea, vomiting shortly after you eat? Have you ever wondered what this could be? This could be reactive hypoglycemia. Don't worry, I will show you how to overcome these uncomfortable symptoms by making some dietary changes. In this video, I am going to share with you what could be the possible causes of reactive hypoglycemia and how you can make some lifestyle dietary changes in order to overcome the uncomfortable symptoms of reactive hypoglycemia. Hey, change makers, are you open to transform into a happy and a healthy you? I am Rajita Bamakanti, registered nurse, faith-based holistic coach, and culinary coach. If you want to develop healthy habits for life, one step at a time, then click the red subscribe button and the bell icon now. Researchers have not yet figured out the specific causes of reactive hypoglycemia. However, this condition stems from having too much of insulin in your bloodstream after a carb heavy meal. The possible causes of reactive hypoglycemia could be from having prediabetes or having a rare enzyme deficiency or having had stomach surgery. Have you had blurred vision, confusion, dizziness about an hour or two after you have had your meals? Tell me in the comments below, what did you do when you had this kind of feelings? And continue watching this video until the end to learn about what type of life changes, lifestyle changes you can make in order to stop these symptoms from occurring over and over again. If you are having the symptoms of reactive hypoglycemia, and if you do not treat it immediately, it could be very dangerous. So when you have the symptoms of reactive hypoglycemia, then drink a half a cup of orange juice or a regular soda, or eat two tablespoons of raisins, or have one tablespoon of honey. After you eat or drink, wait for about 15 minutes and see how you feel and check your blood sugar. If you still feel dizzy, anxious, confused, then recheck your blood sugar. And if it is less than 70, eat one of these food items or drink and wait for another 15 minutes and recheck again until your blood sugar is greater than 100 or you start feeling better. You may need to talk to your doctor about this to investigate why you are having these reactive hypoglycemia symptoms. Your doctor may ask you your medical history and what your symptoms are, and also if you have had a family history of diabetes. If you have diabetes, and if you are having these symptoms, you do need to make sure that you eat carbohydrates, at least 15 grams of carbohydrates, and wait for 15 minutes and recheck your blood sugar. Make sure your blood sugar levels are above 100 because hypoglycemia could be very dangerous. So you need to treat it immediately. If the doctor finds that it, the cause is due to some type of a medication or a tumor, then he could change your medication or possibly you might need surgery. 
how can you avoid these symptoms if there is no underlying cause you're having these? You can make some small changes in your eating habits on a daily basis. Some of the changes are eating small meals at least every three hours and also choose foods that are a different variety such as beans, lagoons, vegetables, fruits, and grains. Avoid foods that are high in sugar and high in refined carbs, like the white flour, white bread. And if you drink alcohol, please have some food along with it. Don't drink on empty stomach and do not mix drinks. Choose foods that are soluble fibers, such as oatmeal, bran, and barley. Also make sure you exercise on a regular basis. I am your faith-based holistic coach. Until next time, choose healthy options so that your blood sugar stays above 100. And also watch this video on pre-diabetes next.